Brett. This is a quick tutorial to show you some of the features of NewView. First thing you're going to do is click on Login, NewView Login on our website, and you're going to plug in the credentials that we gave you. When you do that, it's going to bring you to the NewView dashboard. Now, the quickest way to get started here is just to click on Edit Site. What that's going to do is it's going to open up your new site, uh, just as if you were looking at it through a browser, and you're going to notice all these edit bubbles here for all the different sections that you can get at and edit. So some of these are site-wide and some of them are unique. For example, on every page, the, con the, the quote area over here is unique. So you can change it like that. Um, this picture, these icons, and this information is universal across the entire site. So for example, let's change this and see how that works. So you're gonna click edit. Right under KE North, we wanna add some text. We're gonna click save, or we're gonna click okay, excuse me. So there we see it. Now this doesn't go live on the site until we click publish. Page actions, publish. So when we do that, it's gonna put it on the server. Come back here to your live site and refresh. There's my change. But now, if we go to the home page, for example, we scroll down, there's my change. If we go to careers, for example, there's my change. If we want to undo that, come back over here in new view, scroll down, click on edit, remove it, hit OK. Page actions publish, and that should update every page on the site that has that section in it. Next thing I'd like to show you is these pictures, which you can now change. Now this is the same deal, where every page on the site is pulling the same information. So if you click edit here, if we change water resources to water X sources and hit okay, um, and then we publish, we're gonna come back over here to the live site, and no matter what page we're on here, so we're on careers right now. Water X sources, click home. Water X sources, okay, well we don't want that, so let's change it back. Click edit, resources, okay. But we do, we do wanna change this picture here. So the way you do that is you click edit again. And this is our image gallery. Right now it's empty, so we wanna upload a new image and let's just pick a sample image here. Click open. That's gonna ask us to crop the image so that the size stays the same. Let's just do this happy face. We'll click finish. It's gonna bring it in. Still has our effect on it. We're gonna go page actions, publish. Come back over to live site, hit refresh. Water resources is fixed. Here's our new image. The link is still in place. Go to the water resources page. Looks good. So this brings up an interesting question. Over here, these images are our links to the different pages. For example, this links to water resources. So we're on the water resources page here. Well, when you're in the editor, you click around like you would on the normal site to go to your different pages. So let's go to the careers page. We just click the link. New view is going to open it up. However, these images are editable. So when we click on them, it's trying to open up our image gallery and say, what do you want to switch it to? So how do we get to the water resources page? Well, what we do is we come over here and we just grab what's after the end of kingengineering.com forward slash and we copy it. We come back over here and then New view, we have our URL right here. We're just gonna paste it in, hit enter. That'll jump us over to the water resources page where from here we can make changes. We can also come over here the site pages and at the bottom this big these three blue lines of text are the title of the page and I'm going to show you how to change that right now 
and this is the name of the file, water-resources-kingengineering-kself.php. So now you can quickly get back to that page from here just by clicking. Now if you want to change the title of the page, up here there's a little SEO button. You click that. This is your Google preview. Um, here's where you can change your page title. Here's where you can change the keywords associated with the page. Here's where you can change the page description. As you can see, that's what shows up here in the Google preview. And then you hit OK. I'm not going to change any, any of these. A uh, little warning, go easy on the keywords and make sure that these are relevant. If you have a different title and a different page description on every page, it is a good thing. Google likes that. So that's a quick way that you can change that. One other thing I'd like to show you how to do is create a template and then create a new page from that template. If we come back over here into New View and we go to Manage Templates, we get a blank screen here. What we want to do is we want to clone a page on the existing site and, and make that into a template. So I'm going to do that for you right now. I've already created a blank page with the main areas in it. We're going to click Clone Page and it's going to ask us which one do you want to clone. And we're going to scroll down Blank Template Page hit OK. So it creates a clone and we want to edit the name and we'll just call it blank page and save. And now when we're done here we're going to close out. Um, excuse me, we're not going to close, we're going to click back on King Engineering. And then we're going to come over to Site Pages. And what we want to do is create a new page. So we're just going to click here, create new page. It's going to ask us what template do you want to uh, base this page off of. Click create. It's going to say, please provide an extension. I would suggest using PHP. So aj-test.php, create. It's going to create that page and it's going to bring it up in the edit window. So all the stuff is plugged in. Here's, here's the title. We can click here to change that. Here's the text area. We can click here and change that. Okay, looks good. Now over here on the right, this quote is unique on every page. So we can click here. Quote. Now we don't want to change these other areas because this area and the icons and the picture are site-wide. So we're happy with that. Page actions, publish. Come over here to the live site. Scroll down. Here's our new page with our changes. Here's our quote. Age is the guy who worked on this. Now, just to show you, if we come over to home, this quote is the same as it was. If we go to referrals, this quote is the same as it was. So you can put a different quote on every single page if you need to. So let's come back over here. Uh, let, I don't want to keep this page anymore, so we're going to close it. Go to site pages. And let's go to AJ hyphen test. We're just going to delete it. Are you sure you wish to delete this page? Yeah, let's get rid of it. Another cool feature that you'll want to check out is the image gallery and the documents gallery. What you can do here is upload PDFs, for example, or Word documents and link to them from your pages. You can go to manage images. You can upload images. Here's the image that we uploaded as an example. You can optimize images. You can edit them. You can delete them. So that pretty much is a quick summary of everything we have going on. Again, if you come to edit site here, uh, let's just go to referrals, for example, because this is a page that we need to fill in. On every page where this title exists, it should be editable. All the sidebar stuff should be editable. And then this content area. Notice if you mouse over a bubble, it'll lighten up the area that you're, you're going to edit. If you click on that, you know, we can add we 
can add all our new content here. Every page right now just has one big edit bubble on the side. We're gonna close this because I don't wanna save my changes. Come back over to edit site. This will open up the home page. If I scroll down here, if I mouse over this, you can see that this edit area is just one big area. If it gets to the point where you need this to be more granular, for example, if I go to about us, if we come down to Jackie's page, if we click on edit, we can see it's not especially the nicest looking thing. It's still manageable, you can still edit it, but if you need us to go through and on certain pages break out different sections, so let's say we just want this table to be a region and we just want this text to be a region, um, we can do that. Now you can a lot of times mouse over just the image and it'll say, you know, do you want to swap it out? And then you can change it out quickly like that. Let's see if it saved that change. I don't think it did. Let's go to Jackie. No. So you have to actually publish when you want stuff to go live. So that is about as quick a summary as I can do for you. If you come across stuff that's not editable that you need to be, or if you have different sections that you need broken down a little bit more granular, let me know and we'll, we'll work something out to, to make that happen. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.